Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video we are going to explore together why is your mobile app not putting out the events. So guys, if you are interested, let's without losing time, move forward to our video. So guys, for that, we need to post an event and this is my event, Product Management Webinar. I have already filled the fields, now we need to check the user who have posted the event. It is event 2020. Okay, let's update it, let's publish it. Our, uh, our post is already ready, now we need to go to Event Manager's REST API to generate an API access. So for that, we need to go to API access and click on add key. Here, uh, we need to fill the fields. Let's quickly fill them. Here, we need to uh, address it to the user, but I will choose another user. Uh, so let's go with this one. We need to set an expiry date permissions and generate API key. Okay, this is our API keys. Now we will uh, try to log in with these uh, credentials to our mobile app to see whether it will show the event that we have posted together or not. So guys, these are the credentials with which I'm going to sign in. So let's just click on sign in. Okay, and now here I'm going to search for our event. So that was product management webinar. Okay, guys, and here we can see that we have found no event. There is no event because uh, the API key was addressed to another user. Now we need to go to the backend to create a new API access. So we are on the backend already. Now we are going to create a new API. For that we need to click on this add key button and uh, fill out the fields let's name it we need to choose an uh, owner so i will address it to the user who have created the event it was event 2020 we need to set an expiry date permissions and generate api key so this is our api key now we are going to log into our mobile phone mobile app via this uh, API key and we'll search for the event again to see what will happen. Okay, now I'm going to log in with these credentials. Let's click on sign in. Okay, and uh, now let's search for the event. It was product management webinar. Okay, and as you can see here, we already have the event, so this is how you can do it. And this was it. Hope you liked the video. If you have more questions or need further assistance, do not hesitate to leave comments down below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.